whatever you want to give. Like, um, yeah, so I was about 19. I was a sophomore in college. And I had just went through a terrible breakup. I mean, it was, it was horrible. And I was super depressed. I was, I mean, like I said, I lost like 20 pounds in like a month. Um, I wasn't eating. I was crying all the time. Like this was Christmas break. So I was home and like my parents were just like, what is going on? And I, and I find like, I told them and they were like, okay and they're trying to be there for me and da, 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 da. and I just wasn't having it like I spent Christmas like crying like and it was it was so bad um and when it was time to go back to school I said I'm not I'm not going like I'm not going back um I can't like I I just can't I can't see them there I can't be I can't and my dad, he was like, okay, we're going to have an adult conversation right now. And he said to me, he said, you know, I understand. And, and I have a connection with my dad that is different from any other connection I have in the world with anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there are times we just don't, we don't speak. And he will know immediately what's going on, what I'm thinking. And it's scary. But he does. And it's it's weird. So, you know, he said, and he said, I understand. And we've had conversation about, you know, him and how, before he met my mom and all this stuff. And he said, I understand what you're going through. I've been there. But you have to get it together. Like, you have to figure this out. Because you're 19. There is so much more life that you have to go through. There's so many more things that you have to experience and so right now is the time to figure out how you're going to do that um and I said okay but I can figure that at home like I I can't do this by myself and he said you're not by yourself but I'll be honest with you if you had done (laughs) if you had done what you were supposed to do your freshman year and I didn't academically and I was kind of like oh in college like I'm just gonna party and I'll (laughs) yeah and so I you know it didn't really go well um and he said you know if you had done what you had to do freshman year you could transfer you could go somewhere else but you can't because you made those choices and so now you have to deal with the consequences of making those choices so no you have to go back you have to figure that out but the test is how are you going to do that how are you going to pick yourself back up and figure out how to keep going? And in that moment, I was like, I, I, I have to figure this out somehow. Um, and that didn't go very well. <laughs> um, because I got back to school. And I was doing everything that I was supposed to be doing. I was going to class. I mean, I was I was going through the motions. I was like a zombie. I was just going to class, like whatever. And it was one night and I was walking back to my dorm and I saw them. And they were talking to somebody else or doing whatever. And it, it I crumbled. I really did. I crumbled. I went back to my room. Um... And the craziest thing is I, I think about this now. I was like, okay, how can I do this? What is the what is the strategic plan on how to end my life? Like, how am I going to do this? And so I went, I researched. I was like, okay, what pills can I take? What pills do I have? Um, because I had already, I'd already cut myself. I had already done that. And you know, I made promises that I wouldn't do that anymore. I'm like, okay, fine, I won't do that. But I have to figure this out. I have to find something else because I, I can't be here. I can't do this. This is too hard. Um, I don't want to live anymore. And so I was like, all right, the only thing I have is a bottle of Motrin. And I did the research on it. They were like, it's not going to kill you. I was like, all right, but this is all I got. So whatever. So I did that. 
and I called my sister because she was living in Baltimore at the time and I did that I called her and then the next thing I know I am in the hospital and my mom my dad my sister they're all standing there and I woke up and I told them I said that's it I need help and I can't do this on my own um, I and and I, I was like I want help I want to get better I want to figure this out but I can't do it on my own and so I went they were like okay that's fine um, so they went we figured we um, <sighs> found like the on-campus like therapist or counseling or whatever whatever um and so I went there for like a day because I mean she just wasn't it so I was like okay this like I'm still gonna try to find someone else but she's not necessarily it mm -hmm. um and so I went it was it was a beautiful day honestly um I went I cried I didn't say anything I just cried and she like in that moment she was just asking me these questions and I was just like okay I don't really want to answer these right now I just need to just sit um and I walked out of that of the building and I just looked up it was a gorgeous day it was blue skies and it was, it was springtime it was birds all that and I took a deep breath and I was like wow wow there's more to life than what i've been going through there's more to this than sadness mm -hmm. and depression and darkness it's a beautiful day and i'm going to i'm gonna revel in that um and every day after that until i was beginning to normal i hate the word normal but adjusting to and getting back to my self I actively woke up every day and I said, okay, find something. Find something that has some type of happiness, joy, brightness, whatever, mm -hmm. that can give you that extra step to want to do this, to want to continue. Um, and that's what I did. And... Excuse me. Um... And it helped and I got out of that slump I got out of that dark place and I started the process of getting me back I guess in a weird way but who isn't right now <laughs> um, but yeah and so that was a turning point in my life um, Uh, yeah I had to I had I always say you, you have to you have to go through it to get through it um and I had I went through that and I got through it um I won't say that my depression is gone because if anyone really knows it's not something it's not a switch that you just right. flip it on and off and it doesn't just go away it's a it's a constant struggle um but I have found different outlets different coping mechanisms that when I feel it coming on and I feel you know all right I'm not something something's up mm -hmm. I'm like okay let me center myself let me let me let me get into myself and really just sit with myself and sit with the issues sit, sit with whatever's going on in my mind and figure that out um I've realized that me writing it down and then going back and looking at it helps me because I can visualize whatever I think is the problem mm -hmm. or whatever emotion that I might be going through and I'm like huh okay let me pinpoint that and then let's look at how the rest of the day went what other aspects went into that what's 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 going on and so I'm really taking my emotions and my troubles into my own hands and figuring out what is what is the root what is what's going on with you Mm -hmm. um and not more so taking everything from the outside 
and like maybe it's because that person did this or maybe it's because this happened no what did you contribute how did you help that and how and and what what do you look like and stop blaming everything else in the world on what's going on with me because yes there are times where it was that specific thing that that person did Mm -hmm. but more so how did you handle that and how is that affecting what you're doing right now um so yeah it's a longer story than i think you asked for but it's no it was perfect (laughs)